pain and suffering and vile things that happened to me that I saw happen to my people. Just blame everybody, blame white people, blame society, blame God. I didn't get no answers because I was asking the wrong questions. You have to ask the right question. Has anything you've done made your life better? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Hello, welcome to the history of punk. Hi, my name is Brittany, and that was Edmonton's own home records from 2001 or two? 2001 or two. Home records. Uh, that was Disorder Ward, and uh, just shout out to Adriana for being a badass queen <laughs> on those vocals. Queen of Edmonton. Queen of Edmonton, honestly. Uh, before that, we heard Strength and Solitude, a track called Children at War. And we opened up today's very special edition of History of Punk with Generation Condemned, We Stand. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, CJSR. Hi, Brittany. Hi. Hi, 780 Punk Flyers. How are you? Welcome to the show. I'm Thank great. You. I'm so excited we're doing this. Me too. Thank you for having me. Yes. So I met 780 Punk Flyers at a recent show. I don't even remember what show it was. I believe it was Open Eyes. Right. And who else was playing? Why can't I remember this? It was like two months ago. I forget. Anywho, Open Eyes were there, yes, and they were incredible. Um, and we decided to do a super top secret show. Chain Whip. Chain whip and language. Thank you. Yes, yes. very important, amazing oh Canadian bands. <laughs> yes, chain whip, so good. We play them on the show yes. a bit, yeah. And language, mm, yes, yes. And so we concocted this plan to have you aboard yes. because you are the like archiver yeah. of the Edmonton punk scene. Yeah. So this makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> so those three bands in particular, mm -hmm. you said that you had a, a memory. Yes. Tied to Generation Condemned. Yes. Yes. Generation Condemned was one of my favorite bands from, you know, 1999 to 2002. They were so powerful. They were so, they were so strong and so, I don't know. I don't know what the word is, <sighs> but they were just, yeah. mm, I believed everything they said and I was young, I was 15 and they were just so energetic and like serious and muscular. And <laughs> I just remember their last show was on Sunday, February 10th. 2002 I do remember that exactly the and recall. they played at stars which was underneath the pawn shop and it was packed there were people swinging from the rafters people's shirts were coming off everyone was rushing on stage there were like 20 30 40 people just grabbing the mic singing into the mic and when they played we stand it was just like the culmination of my youth like in that moment and the culmination of that Edmonton punk scene was just the energy was so real in that moment and so strong and high. It was incredible. And there is actually a video of it on YouTube. If you go to the Air and Action channel, he has a video of that song from that day. Incredible. Yep. <laughs> okay. And I was telling you just before we started recording that um, 
I didn't have shows in mm -hmm. my youth, so I'm living vicariously yes. through you. <laughs> the early 2000s, yeah. this is where I would have wanted to be. So thank you for curating this incredible set. You're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> it's been fun listening to it and getting ready for the show. Amazing. And Strength and Solitude, Homewreckers. I'm wearing a Strength and Solitude shirt right now. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Clint. Strength and Solitude were like a screamo, um, just intense... I didn't really know them personally, but their music was so intense. They just blew me away every time. Every time. There's nothing more I can say about them. I just was floored by them. And to this day, they're still my favorite Edmonton band. That was incredible. I yeah. was stoked when that track came on. Yeah. I'm so sad I missed out on those days. The thing that's been amazing about 780 Punk Flyers is that it's bringing these people out of wherever they've been for the last 20 years, right? We've all grown up, we've all moved on, we're all doing whatever we're doing, and I've connected with a couple of the guys from Strength and Solitude over the Instagram account, and one of the guys from Strength and Solitude said he was so inspired and so happy to be seeing all the old flyers that he dug up his old tape and converted them into digital, and they actually started at Strength and Solitude Bandcamp because of seeing all the flyers on the Instagram account. Okay, so go to Strength and Solitude's Bandcamp. Band camp. Yeah. Okay, I will. It's amazing. Like, I had that tape, and it's the only tape I cannot find from that time. I've probably moved five or six times since the year 2000. I have found everything except for that tape. Oh. So to be able to have that now on Bandcamp makes me incredibly happy. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, people. Like, if you have that tape and you're willing to part with it... <laughs> Get in touch with 780 Punk yes, Flyers. I will pay you. I will give you <laughs> food. I will give you whatever you want. Please sell me your tape. Give it. Give it. Yeah. Okay? Give it. Um, and Home Records, I... Oh, man, Adriana. Just, like, so badass. Yeah, we had Adriana. We have the CD here, so we're going to take yeah. a look. We had Adriana, Madeline, Lindsay, and Max. All-female, awesome, hard Edmonton band. Fuck. Terrifying in the best way. And they have a song on here called Bacon Panties, which yeah. I just, oh, I, I live for. Homewreckers. Yeah. So sick. And uh, Adriana is currently in a new band called Clergy, which we've definitely played on the show before. Um, and they're recording a new album. Mm -hmm. So the legend lives on. Thankfully. Thank you, Adriana, for your service to Edmonton's punk scene. Truly, yes. For real. Truly, thank yeah. you. And another uh, band that we need to pay homage to is Runic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of Runic. Runic? Runic? I don't know how long Runic was around for. Definitely two years. I don't know how big they made it at that time, but I always loved them. I have a thing for women who just scream from the bottom of their heart and soul because I want to do that and I don't know how to do that. So I admire these women past and present who can just get up on that stage and scream out all their anger so uh runic had vicky as their singer and then who else was in the band i don't remember all their names mike and some two other guys but vicky was just the most like vicious screaming like intense you'll see when we play this song they were scary crust in the best possible way hell yeah yes. they were all, i saw her at a show a couple months ago at 99.10 and i was like starstruck I was like whispering to someone I'm like is that Vicky from Runic and then someone <laughs> overheard me and they're like yeah that's Vicky I'm like oh my god Vicky I don't know if you remember me but I love Runic so much and she's like oh yeah that's cool I remember you so oh shout out to Vicky wherever you are <laughs> we love you Vicky yeah. I'm so stoked to hear this track this is girls are evil yeah on the history of punk <laughs>
breed of man who used to ride the real boy. Thank you,
Good morning. Welcome back to the History of Punk. My name's Brittany, and I'm joined today with very special guest, 780, 780? 780. 780 Punk Flyers. Whatever you wanted to I'm not from here. That's okay. I don't know the area codes. I'm like a 587 girl. 780 is the only one that matters. It is. <laughs> 780 Punk Flyers. Yes. Thank you for joining us Thank today. Thank you for having me. Yes. And for curating this sick playlist. That was Death by Dawn. Yes. We just heard? Yes. Yeah? I am the devil. Death by Dawn used to put on these wild like baby guar sh- shows they're like having white makeup on their face they're pouring fake blood they're throwing it into the crowd like props weird stuff awesome like we would come out of the hall bonnie dune hall or park allen hall or forest heights whichever one it was and everything would just be trash so i'm sorry to those communities <laughs> that we did that to you but they definitely gave a very memorable experience they were edmonton's horror punks cool back then and this was circa, um, let's say, 2001. I'm just checking the seat. 2000. This album is from 2000. The Nightmare Begins. The turn of the century. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is truly the history of punk today. Yes. We're doing it up. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Before Death by Dawn, that was Lambs with Old School. Um, Lambs are still still going strong. They're still playing so shows. Here, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen them in a hot minute, but I would like to. Yeah. yeah. I feel like John usually books that band for okay. a few things. I don't know. I haven't seen them in a while either. Mm-hmm. Anyway, they're still going. Good. Good, for, good for you, lambs. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Don't ever stop. Um, <laughs> and then we open up that set with Runic, who you gave a very, very exciting intro to. Thank and, you. Um, I hope it lived up to the hype. Yes. They delivered 100%. Runic, I'd never heard of before, but they uh, are this dope-ass band. Oh, my God. I'm holding the CD case that you brought, and it is just, like, the old burn <laughs> CD style with, like, permanent marker writing on it. The Opposed is the name of the album, I believe. No, the oppo- it's a split CD with The Opposed. Oh, damn. Yeah, so okay. Aaron Clark, Jamie. Who else was in The Opposed? Mm. Well, the names inside of the CD are not. It's They're real names. Very so we'll just read. pretend. Johnny Squirrel Nuts, apparently. <laughs> anyway, it's a split CD from The Opposed and Runic. They put it out probably also in the year 2000. I found the flyer for this one. Of course, I have them all. And uh, the CD release show was in June 2000. Is it 2000 or 2002? Probably 2000. Oh, it pro- oh. 2001. So the CD release show was around that time, in the month of June, and it was just handwritten, like, scrawled on a piece of paper. It was at one of our girlfriend's house's basement, and the CD was on sale for $3. Wow. Steal of a deal. And for booking, we can comment contact free underscore beer underscore UK at hotmail.com, <laughs> which I love. I don't know, like, if you had one of those, like, weird hotmail addresses growing up. I had a hotmail, but it wasn't very weird. Oh, it was just, like, your name? Yeah. Oh, mine was lemur53. Oh, cute. <laughs> that was my first email. So I appreciate this free beer. Yeah, we could also email runic at beer.com. For yes. Bo- we should try emailing those and see what happens. <laughs> and see what happens. It would probably get a bounce Vicky, back. are you out there? <laughs> Yeah, Vicky, vocalist um, of that band. That's amazing that you saw her recently. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Still around. Yeah. Still living the dream. Yeah. Hopefully. I hope she's well. I hope so, too. She seemed okay. good. Well, great. Call me Vicky. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get in touch for a runic reunion. Hey, I would pay anything for that. So 780 Punk Flyers, DM me on Instagram. Let's mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Honestly, like any of the bands, yeah. if you're listening, like yeah. we will pay you Yes. for a reunion show. Like I will dip into my own personal money. I would do anything to relive my youth, so (laughs) please call me. (laughs) The nostalgia is real. Yes. The nostalgia is real. And also, okay, so 780 Punk Flyers, tell me, what what made you want to start this? It's an Instagram page first and foremost, but then you also just started a YouTube channel. Yes, I did. I just started a YouTube this week because why not? Mm -hmm. Um, 
but I started the Instagram two years ago in September, so she's a Virgo. (laughs) (laughs) I was cleaning out my basement. I had a storage room full of boxes to the ceiling, to the door, completely full, and I just kept finding flyers, two or three, a handful, whatever, and I was like, man, these are cool. I should show these to people. I showed them to... Eric, my fiance, and he's like, man, these are awesome. You should do something with these. And I, I just started an Instagram. It took me a while to figure out what name, like what handle I should use. I started putting them up. It was the pandemic. I was honestly just bored and wanted to catalog these things. I've always been a bit of an archivist, a bit of a nerd, like keeping lists of everything, keeping track of everything. I have like a uh, agenda from every year of my life with everything I've... Oh my god, same. Yeah. I should show you my... I would love yeah. to, yeah. <laughs> so it just seemed like the right thing for me to do. I honestly thought I would get 100 followers and I would run out of flyers to post, but people DM them to me without me even asking. People think of me. They they just send them. They're like, I found this. This is awesome. Oh, I was at my parents' house. Look at what I found. They send me pictures of tapes that they found, shirts. People give me shirts, like... Clint, again, thank you for the Strength and Solitude shirt. Um, (laughs) You know, so it's just been a really... It's just been a really nice experience because people are really connecting with that nostalgia of that simpler time for us before Instagram, before cell phones, before everyone was recording every song of every band. And we were just there in the pit taking pictures with our film cameras, just being with our friends... So I think I really hit a nerve with people that needed to be hit and the page just keeps growing. And I'm so, so appreciative for everyone that sends things into me and helps me keep it going. And just seeing everyone's specific memories that they are commenting on flyers that I post blows my mind every time. So thank you everyone for keeping, keeping me going because we're all doing it together really. Yeah, that's so great. And Thank honestly, you. it it takes a community. We can't do cool shows. We can't have nice things unless we're all showing up and participating. Exactly. So it's yeah. freaking cool that you started this. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And your YouTube channel, yes. you're archiving music now. Yeah, so I was pulling out all my old CDs to make the playlist for this show. And I thought, I've always wanted to be able to Google these things and go on YouTube and type in Generation Condemned Edmonton or Strength and Solitude Edmonton and they haven't been anywhere online. It's been 20 years. Nobody will do it at this point unless I do it. So I'm just doing it now. So I'm taking all the old albums, throwing them up there, putting flyers as the graphic and uh, I hope people find it and like it. The name on Inst- uh, sorry on YouTube is the same, 780 Punk Flyers. So like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that subscribe Smash button. Smash it. <laughs> or whatever people on YouTube say. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I think that's what they say. <laughs> I don't really participate, but I will participate you will in now. your yeah. channel. Yeah. yeah. This might be my inaugural like channel <gasps> that I subscribe to. Oh, wow. Honestly. I'm honored. Yeah. I really am. Well, we need new music, you know? Like, yeah. it's, it's important. At this point yeah. in the pandemic stage, like, mm-hmm. we need a combination of nostalgia, mm-hmm. but also, like, for me, I haven't heard a lot of these mm-hmm. bands. Like, I, I missed out on these hall shows mm-hmm. and... Uh, I, I think a lot of our listeners, if, you know, if you're at a certain age or you didn't live in Edmonton at the time, Mm -hmm. it's a total reset and ability to access something that, you know, half these bands don't even exist anymore. Yeah. This cannot be lost to, lost to time. This needs to be out there for us to remember and for new younger punks to discover. I love it. You're doing the Lord's work. (laughs) Thank you so much. (laughs) You really are. Thank you. So let's, uh maybe get to some more music absolutely yeah okay so this is a band that i did get to see actually so this was oh gosh winter maybe 2015 Mm -hmm. it's been quite a few years now the franklins played at new city on white i think it was new city at the time i believe i don't know my brain is a sieve now (laughs) after the pandemic um but they did play scored a record thankfully i think they pressed a handful of them so this this one I know. Mm-hmm. This is a classic, classic Franklin's track. Franklin's, you know what's coming. Yes, yes, <laughs> and we'll we'll talk about the Franklins on the other side because I'm sure you probably have some good memories of the Franklins compared to my one <laughs> new memory, which was like a reunion show. Mm-hmm. But anyway, this is Trailer Park Girl by the Franklins on History of Punk Times Seven Eighty Punk Flyers. <laughs>
premier indie music festival returns. Purple City takes over Edmonton August 26th to 28th at venues across the city. This year's lineup includes can't miss performances from Oakland Garage Rock revivalists Shannon and the Clams. When I was a boy, I not to cry. New York City dance punk legends Chick Chick Chick. Brooklyn Noise Rockers, a place to bury strangers. California Psych Rockers, Death Valley Girls. Canada's drag race phenomenon, Priyanka. Toronto Shoegazers, Dilly Dally. And tons more. For the complete festival lineup and to purchase tickets, head to purplecityfest.com. Drinking alcohol carries the risk of many harmful effects, such as impaired judgment, delayed reaction time, blurred vision, and decreased muscle control. Consuming large amounts can lead to loss of consciousness and death. Prolonged use of alcohol impairs internal organs like the heart and is known to reduce cognitive abilities and induce conditions like depression. Please be mindful of these effects and act responsibly. A message from CJSR.
That was a band called Le Tabernacle. Do not ask your mom to translate that for you. <laughs> it's a bad word. Is it actually? Yes, it is. Oh. It's a French slur, so. Oh. We can talk about it off off the air. Oh. <laughs> but if you know, you know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I only know one other French swear, and it's not that. Okay. Okay, well, if you speak French, you know what that means. Yes, you I do. don't. I'm or if you dark. were in Edmonton in 2000 going to shows. You yes. know what that means. <laughs> yes. Yes, because this is basically a show of archived mm-hmm. Bands from the early 2000s, mm-hmm. mostly, mostly, because yep. Yep. we have 780 Punk Flyers here. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Thanks for explaining that Le Tabernacle is a swear word. Yeah. <laughs> As a swear. Yeah. I appreciate that. That was, I don't want it. Yeah. I do want all of this, though, so yeah. it's kind of contradictory. Um, before that, we heard a band called Rectify, which is spelled very weirdly, but mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. It's W-R-E-K-D-E-F-Y. Mm-hmm. Rec. Mm-hmm. Defy. Mm-hmm. She haunts me. And then we started off that set with the Franklins. Beloved. One of the most beloved Edmonton bands of all time, I would say. I would say so. Yeah. So. Glad I got to see them once. Yeah. You probably saw them like a million Many times. times. Many times, yeah. Yeah. We all still know and love Clint, of course, 9910. Thank you for putting on punk shows all the mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Um, Homefront. Clint is in Homefront now. Yes, current. So still thriving in the Edmonton scene. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Good <laughs> job. Thank you. Franklin's amazing. Yeah. Thank you for your legacy. That's the thing about this Edmonton punk scene is so many of these pals of ours started in bands so young, just in their mom's basement or their friend's dad's basement or whatever, and started when they were 13 or 14 years old, and they've evolved so much from that band to the next band and playing bands now like John from Misdemeanor went on to Our Mercury who is now in Open Eyes who was also in WizKids it's just cool to see the progression of these these people the trajectory of these people like keeping this scene alive right Mm -hmm. it's very cool to see oh you know my brain unfortunately very nerdy of me but I was just visualizing this ultimate flow chart of like where people went to from certain bands yeah. just to see how it's all connected mm-hmm. and how it is so interconnected mm-hmm. you, you're only like one degree mm-hmm. of separation away from anyone at any given point we could make it happen <laughs> i'm sure we could I'm today sure on the could. history of punk we are drawing a flow chart <laughs> Honestly, like, I'm here for it. As long as it's by hand, because I've of done course. it on a computer before, and it's not the same. It's not. It's not satisfying. It's not very DIY punk to do it uh, without a pen and paper. Oh, <laughs> hell no. We will use a Sharpie and some, like, ripped up shards of paper. Basically. Or something. Denim. <laughs> Staying on brand. Yeah. yeah. Staying on brand. <laughs> Amazing. And we were talking earlier about your Instagram page, mm-hmm. 780 Punk Flyers, mm-hmm. if you don't already follow it. And it just showcases some cool and old, oldish. Mostly old. Mostly old. Show flyers mm-hmm. and posters. And if you have any su- to submit, I mean, send them yep. to 780 Punk Flyers. Yes. You can DM me or you can email me, 780punkflyers at gmail com, And I would also like to mention that I do promote new shows on there. So if your band is playing a show, you can tag me, you can send it to me. I always promote those in my stories. And I have a highlight on my page upcoming. So every show that's coming up that I see, I put on there. So love the new bands too. Of course. Yeah. This is about keeping the community strong and, and vibrant. And hopefully maybe the bands that are playing now one day. I mean, we play a lot of current stuff on the show, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> they could be featured on 70 yeah. Punk Flyers yes, absolutely. in an archive one day. Maybe a coffee table book. Who knows? Ooh. We dream big at 780 Punk Flyers. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a reunion show yep. of all these bands, and there will eventually be a coffee table book. Yep. And a flowchart. <laughs> and a flowchart. <laughs> It'll the be a fold out in, in the back of the... Yeah. yeah, we're on the same page. It's an empire, really. <laughs> it really is. It's building your brand. Yes. Yeah. You know, RuPaul would say, you know it. I do. You know it. I do. <laughs> okay, let's get into some more music. This is um, a band that is still going mm-hmm. as of a couple of years ago. I don't know if they've played any shows since the panty, quote unquote, but mm-hmm. they're still around. They are. And um, and I know you wanted to shout out Rich from Free Cloud because yes. Rich is part of Mad Bomber Society. 
who is the band we're going to play. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would love to shout out Rich and Mad Bombers. I went to Vic uh, starting in 1996 across the street from Free Cloud, and I was just a little shy dork back then, and this cool record store was across the street, and I spent a lot of time in there when I didn't go to class, wink, wink, and (laughs) he put up with me he put up with all of us young punks and gave us a safe place to hang out always had like cool local uh 45s and lps for us to buy and still does always has the local band uh albums in there he's obviously been a part of mad bombers forever and was in hippie chick back 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 in the day when he had long hair (laughs) (laughs) so thank you rich for everything This one's for you, buddy. Santa's rock and snoop in the dead of night. Those rocks sneaking in town and right. Shadows in the tracks are coming for him. Can't run, can't hide Last breath, midnight Cut down, backstab Stumps to the ground as they surround him Boots all down to that face all grim Because you love 
never forget this. Always taking Elder's advice, even if it is a shot at his wife. But what would the man say about loneliness and feeling life's over? Always need a stranger's advice. But what could she know about me? And what about that horoscope we read yesterday? Should I make that masterpiece again? Or finish as best as I can? Or should I be looking for comfort? today so that's why mm-hmm. i can't say flyers 780 punk flyers <laughs> is here with us on history of punk 
curating an amazing show. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Awesome day. Awesome way to start the day. <laughs> totally. I love waking up with the cleats. Hello. So good. So good. So good. Yes. Nick Kozub. Edmonton icon. Mm hmm Legend. And we had, who did we have before that? The Operators? Yeah, The Operators. And then Mad Bomber Society. So uh -huh. Edmonton Pop Quiz. Who is the common thread between all three of these bands? Brrr. Eric Budd. Hello, Eric Hello, Budd. Hello, Eric Budd. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to you for being such a such an important part of the Edmonton punk scene as well. It's true. Being in so many bands since such a young age, The Clones, which I was not allowed to play on this show today. Oh, not allowed. No. But the operators are legendary. Yeah. Now we're in uh, now we're in the open eyes phase of Eric Budd. We're in the open eyes era. We're in the open eyes Eric. So check them out. Yes, uh, check them out. Uh, well, I can't ac actually say it yet. There's a special thing mm. History of Punk might, may or may not be doing with open eyes. So just keep your eyes open. <laughs> Good one. For that. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, we're pretty much out of time. But this will not be the last time you will hear 780 Punk Flyers on the History of Punk. That's for sure. Um, we have two more tracks to play, and uh, that includes the Glory Stompers, and... We couldn't, we couldn't have this show without playing the one and only Wednesday Night Heroes to close it out. Of course. Of course. We will not be pushed aside. We will not. 780 forever. Thank you so much, Carly. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Brittany. Join us again anytime. And follow 780 Punk Flyers on Instagram and check out the new YouTube channel. If you're curious about more music that you may have heard today that you liked, it's now online. Thank you to, um, to you for your amazing work. Thank you. <laughs> this is the Glory Stompers. We're here to stay on the History of Punk. Bye. Ciao.
This is CJSRFM broadcasting at 88.5 megahertz from Treaty 6 territory in Edmonton, Alberta. Find us online at cgsr.com. <laughs> 